Hello guys, welcome to, a uh, Arena Tower Defense. In case you're wondering who is that bitch I'm going to place? Well, good question, because the game itself is already absurd since the dev lost the bet. Using voids as a tribe of normal enemies might look pathetic because in TDS, voids appear only on Hardcore, the hardest non-event mode out there. The given tips literally based off BTD6. Just get to certain waves and see what happens. Oh look, it's Demo Man, but better. Guardians are basically heroes from BTD6. Most of them, actually. I place down Hitman because he can give cash at level 5. Apparently, this is the boss killer for my setup. Some towers can't even penetrate these even at max level. So I put down Alien because she can give buffs including lead penetration. The further you go, the more you will learn about the law. Even if it doesn't seem existing at all. Let's pretend we're taking on a big boss.
and there goes easy mode. You can also beat it using starter towers so it's a little bit beginner friendly. Well, out of curiosity, the characters will send mail depending on your progress. The new Guardian is meant to be a pure support tower, but almost every tower and Guardian here is a good one, so I might have to test out a tower Guardian every once in a while. So, she can stop time, fairly decent since most of the towers she boosts have very short range. Unlike TDS, these farms are moderately expensive for early game, but they are very spammable. As you can see, the level 3 farm upgrade is too expensive for my common TDS knowledge, that's why you saw lots of farms being spammed like that, because we do that when we can't afford an upgrade. I have to tell you that enemies will go full speed as waves went on. Rika's stuns can hold off at least a quarter of them.
In you go, Mozilla Firefox. Woohoo, medium difficulty is down. Yeah, I kicked ASS.